Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have another easy and delicious dinner recipe for you. And if you love warming comfort foods, this recipe is for you. I'll be making my creamy and smoky chicken pot pie noodles. Now this noodle dish takes everything that you love about chicken pot pie and transfers it into a noodle dish. And my secret ingredient is diced Canadian bacon. This bacon adds so much incredible smoky flavor and just elevates this dish to a whole new level. Now I already have my noodles cooking on my back burner. Let's get started on the sauce, chicken, and all the other ingredients. I've preheated a large saute pan over medium heat. I'm going to add a little drizzle of olive oil and then add in my chicken. I'm using a little bit over a pound of chicken breast tenders. I'm going to drop that into the pan and season that chicken generously with salt. And cook this chicken for about seven to eight minutes until it's thoroughly cooked and nicely browned all over. And when that chicken is done, go ahead and transfer it out of the pan into a clean bowl. Into that same pan, add a little bit more oil if necessary. Then I'm going to add in my sliced mushrooms. I used about eight large white mushrooms. And I'll also be adding in one cup of diced Canadian bacon. And just saute the mushrooms and bacon until the mushrooms are golden and that bacon is rendered. And once that bacon is rendered, go ahead and take out the mushrooms and bacon, place them along with the chicken. Into that same pan, I'm going to add in half a cup of unsalted butter and just let that melt in the pan. Into that melted butter, I'm going to add in two diced celery sticks, one cup of diced carrots, it's about two large carrots, one extra large diced onion, and four minced garlic cloves. Just toss this all together and I'm going to cook this mixture of veggies and aromatics on medium high heat until the onion is translucent. Now we're not going for browned or golden, you just want to uh, soften the onions. Once your onions and carrots and celery are nice and tender, go ahead and add in half a cup of all-purpose flour. This is going to thicken our sauce and just let that cook for about a minute. Make sure you get it all mixed in. And then season this mixture with a little bit of salt and some ground black pepper. And then we're ready to add our liquid. So I have one and a half cups of whole milk. And I'll need three cups of chicken broth. I'm also going to return my bacon, mushroom, and chicken back into the pan. Once you add the milk and the chicken broth, just continue cooking this mixture over medium heat, stirring occasionally, and it will start to thicken. And after about four to five minutes, go ahead and add in one cup of corn and one cup of sweet peas. These are frozen, but they should thaw beautifully in this mix. I've transferred my noodles into a large bowl, and after cooking the sauce for a few more minutes, I'm going to transfer it over the noodles. Just pour it right on top. Oh, look at all that delicious sauce. This is going to taste so good. Sprinkle some freshly chopped Italian parsley on top and then mix this all together. And the aroma from these noodles, guys, is incredible. You get that smoky aroma from the bacon and you have that chicken and oh, this is going to be incredible. And that's it for my creamy and smoky chicken pot pie noodles. Time to dig in and enjoy. And I wish you guys could smell the aroma of this dish. It is so incredibly good. I'm going to get a little bit of everything because I love to have all those flavors in my mouth all at once. Mmm. Guys, this is so good. If you love warming, creamy comfort food, this is the dish for you. I love how this noodle dish really captures all those creamy, amazing flavors of the traditional chicken pot pie, transforms it into a dish you can have ready in no time, and you have all those incredible flavors. Love the cream sauce, love that tender, juicy chicken, and I especially love the addition, that smoky Canadian bacon. It really elevates this dish to a whole new level. So if you're looking for some incredibly delicious dinner recipe ideas, head down into my video description box. You'll find the link to this recipe, where you can print it off for yourself, save it to Pinterest, and of course, share it with all your family and friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe at home as much as I do, and I'll see you next time.